Hello and thank you for tuning in. I'm Mark. Welcome to Retro First Hour. And today we are going to be playing Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. And before I get started, right, I just want to give a little special thank you, right? Uh, last week I played Crash, Wrath of Cortex, and I I'm really surprised on, on the YouTube channel. As of right, as of, uh, as of right, as of filming this, it has 47 views and I have not had that many views on any video I've ever had in a year and a half of doing this. So if you watch that, even just for a little bit, even if you uh, you heard my horrible mumbly voice and just clicked away, hey, 
thank you. This is a super small channel and it's just so heartwarming that it's actually gaining traction, you know? I, I, this is a weekend hobby for me. I'm the, thank you. That's, that's all I've got to say. And uh, this encouraged me to pick this game because there is that level of over overlap. So if you like Crash, odds are you also like Spyro. So let's try the first Spyro PS2 game. Why not? I don't believe I ever played this one. If I'm being perfectly honest. So this is going to be a, a complete let's play for me as well. Oh, hey, look, Daniel's here in the comments. Hey, evening, evening, my good buddy. So, uh, hey, you know what? Let's hop right into the game, shall we? Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, also, also, uh, wet Wookie smell, and if I struggled with Crash. <laughs> well, well, Wookie, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to turn to Samuel L. Jackson just yet, but you know, you know what it means. Um, yeah, I, I do want to give a little warning as well. I'm not sure if there is something special about this game, but I do know that Sony had gotten sued by multiple parents for epilepsy in their children. So if you suffer from epilepsy, there's always that warning when playing video games and watching streams. I don't know, but just in case this game has something very specific that might trigger it more than usual, I, I suggest you don't watch this if you have epilepsy. Okay, I, I don't want anyone getting hurt, but this, this is meant to be fun, you know? So, warning, you know, warning done. So, this game, much like, ooh, okay, much like the uh, Crash Bandicoot game from last week, did not come out to positive reviews at all. It it did not. Ooh. Okay, that's cute. I actually get to choose the save icon. Oh, that's nice. It's little things in life, you know? Yeah, where we can smell easy out for me. <laughs> you know what? We're already... Screw it. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> here we are. I already see the viewer count drop down to one, so he might have actually left. <laughs> uh, you guys. You guys. So as I said, I, I don't believe I ever played this one. So this is a, this is a first playthrough for me, too. Let's see how it goes. Oh, dear lord. That is a... It's just a float, you scaredy cat. They sure do look happy, don't they, Spyro? Well, it's not every day that a dragon gets his dragonfly. Oh, dear Lord, lip syncing is off. Uh, right, Sparks. Oh, wow. Okay, I. We're not even one minute into actual play, and I can already see something wrong with it. So, we meet again, little dragon. Oh dear I'm lord, it gets I'm worse! Stronger than ever! <laughs> Who are you calling little, Shorty? Nobody invited you! This is an invitation only party. Very clever. Oh right? my lord, what is English happening with, his, with their mouths? We would make a great team. What do you want this time, <laughs> Ripto? This is this is badly oh, yeah. dubbed. It's as if it, it reminds me of those old um, kung fu movies. You're not Badly dubbed, for your brains, you know? Oh, you fight my father! Who okay, killed him? Now you're fine! To the place I found you. Was one of the safe symbols the thing from Five Nights at Freddy's? I don't believe it was. Now, back to what I was saying. Well, what do I Oh dear, look, I, I don't have epilepsy, but I feel like I'm gonna I'm get it watching, watching their mouths moving. Pest, and I will be happy to demonstrate. Since I've had enough to do I know I'm talking over the story, but screw it. This, I don't think it's... Dragonflies. Okay. Okay. I'll give it a fair shake. Okay. So, he, he's just standing there doing the magic and no one's interrupting him. You see, without the power of dragonflies, the dragons are nothing. Soon the dragon homelands will be mine. <laughs> Seriously, he just came in, did his spells, Spiral. and sold that it off. little lizard totally stole all the dragonflies. Even Sparks is gone. Spyro, Hunter, don't worry. I think I know where to start. Follow me. Is that, is that the music in game? Dear Lord. Okay, well. Okay, one loading screen to another loading screen. Got a third one for me? Okay, cutscene. Oh, there he is. 
I thought I lost you, pal. That was close, Sparks. Listen, I think I may have figured out. Is the sound really low for anyone else? Spyro, stand back. Whoa! What'd you do that for? Drat. That didn't exactly work right. Oh come on! Even I, even I can match up the lips better than this, and I'm an amateur. That will enable you to use different breath abilities. The bad news is you're gonna have to find dragon runes to use them. You, you know how hard it was sinking the, the Metal Gear Rose. Solid. Let's play. Cool. Finding on, the um, codec conversations and syncing up the AI generated words or all the music. Do you think we'll ever? It it was difficult, but not that difficult. It took me an hour tops. And I'm doing this for free. These guys got paid. Okay, another loading screen. And oh, uh, FYI, this game was not made. This whole thing screams nightmare fuel, says Wet Wookie Smell. I know, right? The the meme potential. I I might actually use bits of this for my future videos. Okay, here we are. So. Let's see what we got. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to invert that. Uh, general, I guess? Camera. Where's where's the option to invert the there's no there's no invert option? Um okay. Let me save it so at least I don't have to go through all that nonsense again. Select. No, that just opens up the atlas. Okay, so I, I can't invert the left and the right. Pushing left turns the camera right. Pushing right turns the camera left. Come on, there's got to be a way I can change that. There is me. Oh, put vertical to one. Are you sure? I don't, I don't think that's going to do it. Because... Why, why would I have all these options? <laughs> Plus, it's the horizontal that I have to change. Okay, let's try horizontal one. Let's see what happens. Nope. As far as I know, that, that just moves the screen around. Hey, look, I'm, I'm going to push the horizontal all the way to... Uh, wherever the max value is, right? 16. Nope. Sensitivity. I have no idea what this does. It's actually rather ridiculous. I'll turn, turn that off. Active camera mode. Okay. Nope. Okay, well, that's, um, that's one sin right off the bat. No inversion option. I'm, I'm probably going to duck. Oh, you're going to stop me picking up one gem. Okay. Shut up. Every time the bad guys come, they end up trying to steal the dragon treasure. They always take more than they can carry and drop it all over the place. Once we're finished, I can even help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, that's... Wait. Wait, why is... No, this isn't like the other game, is it? No. Okay, for a second there, I thought they were going to rehash the, uh, the first game, Saving Dragons. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm sure I'm going to... Those bastards, they, they're all anti both. Oh, hoy, Everton Bloke! Good to see you, my man. Good to see you. We're playing Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. I see what they did there with that, uh, that comment. What you got? Try charging these baskets or use your breath on them. Have a mint. You never know what you'll find. Gems? Oh look, I do know what I'll find. Hey look, it's everyone's favourite... Uh, where are we supposed to be? Hunter. Any luck with that laptop, mate? Hey Spyro, you know if you press the X button to jump, mm -hmm. then press the X button again in mid-air, you can glide. No. Really? I mean, okay, I get it. I'm I'm not dunking on a game for you know having a tutorial. This is uh, 
they can't automatically assume that every single person who's playing this game has played Spyro before. Understandable, understandable. There's gonna be plenty of other things that I can... What? What? Oh, okay. Again with the cutscenes. Here, take this dragon rune to the dragon spirit over there. With this rune, he'll be... Combine dragon magic and my magic. Bubble breath! Okay, that, that sounds like an insult, but alright. Um, they will shine, probably not use, use the M1 button, switch back and forth and fire, and bubble. Okay. Um, okay, that was weird. And it was right there, come on, I, I could have I could have just given that a twat and it gone over. Thank you, ominous talking statue. I see, and all those slots are going to be for all the other runes. Okay. Oh, there's Bubble Breath. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. It looks like he's drowning, the poor little fella. I don't know why that's adorable. We have our show, some sheepies. <laughs> I love how I just clicked into it. Butterflies are the key to my healthy golden glow. Each time I eat the butterfly, I gain a health point. Uh, yep. So, uh, exactly where I find them. You don't remember? <laughs> I had a short memory. Hey, don't you call me short? Oh dear lord, it's actually turned in. Oh! Oh, it's actually turning in, into mutton. Did you see that? Oh dear lord, what's that? Bubble breath can catch dragonflies on the loose. Drop some bubbles, send them home. Okay. So this is uh, the mechanic. Tunes. Thank you. So, so far, horrendous lip syncing aside, I don't see what's wrong with the game. It looks and feels like traditional Spyro. It looks all right. Um, running is fine. Gliding is fine. The controls feel snappy because I had, I had read that the controls are a bit of a cluster mm, so far mm, so far I don't I don't see what's wrong with it oh it's you again yeah 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 back we go Everyone, everyone looks like they're they're made out of. Um, do you remember those old toys, the Stretch Armstrong? Everyone kind of has that elasticity Stretch Armstrong thing going on. Way to go, Spyro! I think I see something shiny. Oh, I like shiny. Over there. You can get there by hovering. The hover, press the triangle button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Give me the jewels. So far seems fine. Nice work, Spyro. Thank and you. Check this out. You found the dragonfly. Uh, thank you. Where on earth do you keep finding these things? <laughs> huh? Bubbles. Hey, oh come on, that's way too easy. Bubbles, because he's in the bubble. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, do it now. Do it now. Challenge portal. You trying to use a dragonfly? Magically sealed inside. How do you know this? Okay, that sounds easy enough. Of course. Challenge. What do I have to do? Okay. This one is a flame breath tra challenge. One decorated. Eight targets will appear in the area. Find and flame them all. Okay. You purple. Hey. Walk through the gate. Start the challenge. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Those are the, uh... I miss you most of all, Scarecrow! Where's the other one? Where's the other one? No, I'm too small, I can't climb up! Oh, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. Come on. Where's the other two? Oh, there's one, there's one. I'm running out of time, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I think it was over here. I think it was over here. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. 
I missed one? No! Oh, there was eight! Huh? Aww. Oh, I, I miscounted. You know what? That is all that is all on me. For some reason, I thought I only had to find six. Apparently, I can't count anymore. Hmm. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, long-time viewers, aka the, the only three people watching, um, I've... I've messed around with my green screen ever so slightly. Uh, the brightness setting, I, I've, my, I've turned my light brightness all the way to maximum. And who knew actually having the place brighter makes the green screen greener. Ooh, green screen greener. Try saying that ten times faster when, when you're drunk. Okay. Uh, back I go. I'm going I'm to try this one more time. If I, don't, if I don't get it, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's do this. I'm I'm guessing that it's just gonna be all all around the arena, isn't it? Right. So let me let me just stick to the peripherals. I'll go back for that one last. What do you mean, Yout? You're a dragon. You headbutt stuff all the time. It's, it, it's kind of your thing. Oh, there it! There's one. There's one that I missed before. Okay. Two more to go. Two more to go. I I know where the last. I know where one is, but where's the other one? Oh, I didn't do it. Oh well, you know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's probably somewhere. It was probably somewhere. Who, who cares? That that dragonfly has to remain trapped. I'm afraid, forever. God, picking up these gems is so cathartic. This is, I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Spyro, for me, has always been the definition of a comfy game. Check out this big lock. Sorry, my magic energy. Zap it with my electric breath. How do I have electric breath? Well, okay, we'll see you then. Back I go then. Sod me. Meet me out of the way. <laughs> Wholesale slaughter. And remember, kids, you can't spell slaughter without laughter. Thank you. I'll be here for the next hour. Uh, come on, where's, where's the levels at? Where, where are the levels at? I mean, the overworld is nice. Okay, here we go. Is there something? Is there something for me? Is your name Red? Good work, oh, Miyagi. Spyro. Use the stones to get to the dojo. Remember, Spyro. Find the dragonflies before it does. Mr. Miyagi! Is, it, is this it? Oh, this is it. Huh, sweet. Ha. <laughs> okay, that is a cute... Uh loading screen transition that is cute very um very sun goku flying on nimbus vibes oh dear lord i'm already 20 minutes into this video and i really have not accomplished anything hmm. the loading screens are a little bit annoying but the game came out in 2002 what, what do you expect oh no spyro it looks like the Riptops have frozen all the Dragon Masters. Oh no. Not very masterful then, were they? Riptox? What happened to the Rhino? You're going to have to use your flame... Melt the ice to find out what happened here. I mean, that's dangerous. All I'm going to do is give them a freezer burn. Okay. Ooh. I... Can I swim? Can I swim in this game? I un... Spyro should know how to swim by this point because of the previous games but I have a feeling I have a feeling that he doesn't know how to swim anymore ninja go ninja go ninja go you too you also go yeah, that was easy ah Spyro Thank Bruce you had the sense to free me G'day Bruce cage. Who would have thought the Riptox were dead? Invade the sacred Dragonfly Dojo. Spyro, return Dojo to, to its peaceful state by setting fire to everything. 
We have the dragons to be a dragon. Huh. No kidding. I... It, it, it's, it's somewhere between Zen and No Shit Sherlock. Thank you. Another ninja. Watch out. Okay, so he unlocked that door. Let me just take one good look around the... Okay, headbutting stuff and him falling back and saying ouch is getting really annoying. Not a sin, just... What the... Okay, that was weird. Hmm. Bet you there's a dragon up here. I mean, this place looks kind of temperate. Why, why isn't the ice just melting naturally? Other questions that science cannot answer. To find answer, look within. Correct answer, it's for the game. Suspend your disbelief before your disbelief suspends you. Ancient Chinese secret. Oh dear lord, what's that? Hey, he looks pretty dumb. <laughs> He's also big and fat. I don't think you can charge him. Try flaming him. Most creatures have an aversion to anything above 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm pretty sure. Seriously, I might as well just stand here and just let his arms get tired, then go in for the kill. Also, no way in hell is. If, if I'm really that powerful, this wood, this wood panelling, going up in flames. And this is magical flames. That only affects living beings. But a tree is a living being. Hmm. This needs more research. Hmm, the levels feel empty so far. Does that make sense? Now, to be fair, to be fair, I'm comparing this mentally to the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. That's an unfair comparison. I need to compare this to the first three Spyro games. If you raise up to you like this, that means your progress is saved. Huzzah! Save the day again. Ooh! The jimmies. Okay, this is sand. I thought it was water for a second. There he is again with, with that stick of doom. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to make an... Oh, come here, you. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm trying to rescue you, dumbass. Get back here and be rescued. Stop resisting. Let me save you. Come on, let me save you. Come here. Get out of it. Okay, I, I see what they're doing. This was kind of like the Egg Thief. Oh my god, it's actually doing the Egg Thief noise, isn't it? It's doing the Egg Thief noise! There we go. Shellac. Hey, it's shellac. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> okay. Now, where am I going? Where am I going? Well, I imagine this bloke... Oh, there it is, there, there it is. There's the ice block. Yeah, you gotta chill out. Ice to meet you. Oh, I should have. If I had, if I had known there was all gonna be ice blocks. Yeah, Jackie, like Jackie Chan. I get it. Here, that dragonflies grow up and train to be dragon companions, protecting young dragonflies. Is a dragon sensei. Dragon sensei. Will result in much, much reward. I'm gonna hold you. Why are you still talking? Okay, he's chanting. Never mind. Oh, ancient dragon magic! Open flimsy door! Pretty sure I could have just... A light breeze would have accomplished that same thing. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Oh, I see something. A dragon rune. Thundercats, ho! Thunder, thunder, thundercats. God, that's something I, uh... Did they make a reboot of Thundercats, or, or was that a high fever dream? No, it was He-Man! He-Man they, they made the reboot of, didn't they? I still haven't seen that yet. I still haven't seen that yet. Any, has anyone watched it? Is it any good? Because, I mean, the He-Man cartoon... Oh, I, I love the movie with uh, Dolph Lundgren. My, my sister... When, when I was a child, uh, my sister was a teenager, and she had such a massive crush on Dolph, Lund on Dolph Lundgren. 
Lundgren? Lundgren? Whatever. And so that movie was played almost all the time. You know, you know how small children? Oh! Where Wookiees go? They also rebooted Thundercats a few years ago. Huh. Good to see that I'm not the only one affected by that Mandela effect. So yeah, you know, you know how kids had those, um... It, it, it's, it's kind of the... Um... Path of the course that a child will just watch the same movies over and over again and just burn the video out. You know, back then, video. Eh, yeah, showing my age. Um, yeah, for me, it was He-Man Masters of the Universe. Enter the Ninja. Uh, oh yeah, that that was B movie eight seventies, maybe even eighties B movie schlock, and and Predator. I I really enjoyed Predator. You are a dragon I was, I was wise beyond your years. May hey, look, it's Jet for Jet Li. Huh, I get it. I see what they're doing. The That's cute. That's cute. You know what? I'm 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 going to um, Daniel. Keep keep count of the sins, right? So the game has a sin for not allowing me to inverse the controller. Oh no, it's this guy again. But it's removed the sin for the cute references. So we're at a net zero. Ah, Pyro, in trouble again, I see. <laughs> what a surprise. Dragons in danger or something His voice has like changed. That? Well, you'll hmm. have to pay me 200 gems to cross this mighty large chasm to reach any of the oh, other dojos. Dear. Although I may be practicing compassion, money still has my soul. Well, you know what they say, bear on fire cannot collect interest. Thanks. These gems are music to my ears with the wonders as inspiration for my poetry. Ah. Uh. Okay, so far the bear's magic has been way more impressive than the dragon magic. Because all they've done is open a couple of doors for me. Oh wow, I really uh, was close to not having anywhere near enough to, to bribe this guy. Okay, okay, let's do this, let's do this, so. And yoink. Yoink, and you Oh my word! Thought those were gonna plummet there for a second. Give us that gem. Give us it. Yeah, are you smarty man. I'm I'm still so choked up about that um those YouTube crash Good views. Work, oh, seven. Good Lord. Those rip talks don't seem Toshiro. to be much of a Oh I have a feeling I should you. know what that is, Toshiro. Perhaps you should contemplate a career as a dragon sensei. It could be your density. <laughs> I, mean... I have no idea what Toshiro is. If if anyone knows, let me know. Um Yeah, I on YouTube I've never the highest number of views I had on YouTube, remember, at time of recording, uh, 26th of February, 2023, was my very first video, Crash Bandicoot, and I figured that was just friends and family tuning in for, like, sympathy views. You know, like, oh, hey, Mark's doing a thing, let's see what nonsense this is, and then just nev never tuning in again, which, you know, the, the numbers, the numbers support that hypothesis. So, to have, to have 43 views, in a year and a half, and then to get 47 in, in six days? Like, damn. I legit did not think that was going to happen. I don't mean to be harping on, I'm just, I'm just trying to get the point across that I'm, I'm grateful. Come back here, you. I can't even turn the camera properly. There we go. Why is he running away from me? If I'm, if, if these, if the, this is even worse, if they know me, okay, you know what, it makes sense. They're young dragonflies, they probably think that we're playing a game. That explains why they're running away. Or at least that's my, uh, that's my headcanon reason for it. Blink, blink, blink. Oh, what's that then? Where is that? How do I get up there? Hmm. Oh. Thank you. I, I didn't... Oh my god, what what on earth happened there? Did did everything just go invisible for a second? Huh. Okay, um I'm ch I'm chalking that one up to being a glitch. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, okay, we're going this way. 
Uh, look, look at his widow legs, it's adorbs. Yeah, Spyro is a comfy game. And to me, sometimes that, that's that's what you really want from a video game. You, you just want to be entertained, you know? A video game can be bad, but it can never not be entertaining. Because like, even bad games can be fun in their own way. And it doesn't matter how bad the game is, someone, somewhere, out there, um, for them it was their favourite game. You know, so... It, it, it's it's never for nothing. Oh, that was lucky. Hey, it's Cinder. Cinderella. Yeah, I've been doing a lot, of, uh, a lot of soul searching today as well. Just um, just coming to a lot of conclusions about myself. So I'm in a good place. I'm in a good place right now. I know. Uh, last stream when I was talking when I was playing Digimon World Next Order. I haven't played it since the stream by the way. I know I've had uh, Friday and Saturday. I, I was a no-show. Uh, I've, I've just been trying to catch up on certain personal responsibilities. You know. Hmm. Where is the last one? You know what? I'm, I'm going to go back and see what, the, what those cannons were all about. Let's take a look, see. Hmm. Oh, is it? No, I I, I can't have finished the level. No, I didn't rescue everyone. This has to be like a bonus area or something, right? Okay, this is a, it is a bonus area. I must say, I do dig the aesthetic. Ha, <laughs> pattern. Arena, Private Dragon. Private Dragon. Oh, Private Spyro, right there. All the dummy tanks. But, uh... Okay, I have to figure out how to get past the gates. What? Got a tank training area here, yeah, no problem. Okay, a vehicle section so far. Oh, this is adorable. It reminds me of Hogs of War. Wait, what smell? This is totally Hogs of War-y, isn't it? Oh, dear lord. Look at the firepower they're giving a... Uh, they're giving a... Uh, hey, you've, you've never you've never driven a tank before. And the destruction physics leave a lot to be desired, but... Oh! Oh dear, no. Those, those, are, those are little innocent bunnies. No. Steer, steer clear. Steer, oh dear lord, they're firing at me. Wait. Do they fire back at me or, or was that just a set piece? Yeah, whatever. Non importante. Is he gonna fire at me? Oh! Doing something. Watch it, bunny! These tank treads are big! Hmm. Okay. Do I... Okay, that's a turret. Can, can I aim up and down? Yep, I can aim up and down. Yoink. Gadonk. What a satisfying gadonk. Oh, this reminds me of um, that old, that really old game, Battle City. Anyone, anyone ever played that? Remember that? Now that's an old game. Yeah, but, um, I didn't even play that all that long ago. Maybe, maybe a year, a couple of years ago. Don't ask why. I, I was, I was looking up a bunch of uh, NES games. Hmm. The tank does does trudge along rather slowly, if I'm being completely honest. Not a bad thing, just you know, casual observation. Casual observation. Oh, what was that? Oh, good good lord. They they do fire back at me with a vengeance. I've actually got a health meter at the top. Well, th those innocent little bunnies now are gonna have to get their um they're gonna have to get run over. Wait, Wookie's well, holy shit, was that what it's called? Yeah. Battle City. You, you, you remember, you, you, you had the little eagle symbol at the bottom that actually looked a little bit Nazi-esque. And the computer was a cheating bugger, remember? Yeah. 
Oh, there's one. Oh no, I got hurt. Oh well. I, I'm I'm getting my my clock cleaned gloriously. No. Quick, run over the run over the wildlife. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little guy. I I need I need sustenance. Oh dear lord, they're, they're all coming for me, Ted. Ah, I, I I didn't I didn't I didn't get it in time. But you clear them all have tried again. Wait until they shoot down the wall and hit them fast what? while they're reloading. Okay, okay. Do I start from zero? Oh, good lord, I start from zero. Okay. I'm gonna give this one more try. I'm gonna give this one more try. If it doesn't work out, then so be it. I had that on one of those Game Boy 101 game compilation cartridges. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, those those hundred and one games. They were oh oh bugger! I didn't even see him there. There we go. Woo, close one. Wink. Yeah, my uh, my, my partner. She, um, she she really enjoyed that game as well. That's kind of what led to me finding it. Oh, it's a homing missile. Ah, uh, splort. Oh, that was that was a satisfying splort. Did you hear that? Yeah, this is totally Battle City. Um, thinking out loud, right? Because this was something I had really noticed. I, I was thinking about Final Fantasy games, right? And there's just something about the new games that just doesn't really grab the way the old games used to grab. Now, it could very well be the case that I've just changed as a person in 20 years, and I hope I have. Yeah, here I am playing games from 20 years ago, so that, that, that theory needs a little bit of work. But I, I do believe one of the reasons that they actually have objectively gotten boring. I'm going to have to run over some bunnies. For the reason, right, uh, playing some of those older games, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, they had mini games, and those mini games were so fun. Um, just something to break up the monotony, you know? Breaking up the, the monotony of, uh, okay, if you play Final Fantasy VII, even, even when, when you're doing the, come on, get the health, okay, I got, I, I got the health, okay. Um, like, th th there was that one scene with the dolphin, and the, the girl was, was drowning, and you had to do CPR, just something to break up the monotony. And then you had the whole chocobo racing and raising mini game, and then ten comes along, and you've got just mini games galore. And come Final Fantasy Thirteen, that, that just didn't exist anymore. And twelve, oh dear lord, twelve was the opposite. Twelve had, you know what? Twelve. It wasn't even a question of mini games. It was just a question of. It was basically Final Fantasy Eleven offline version with all the grind in it. Now, why am I talking about Final Fantasy when I'm playing Spyro? Because Spyro, one of the things that made it fun was the game incorporated mini-games into the main game. That's that's my belief, like even this right now. You're just trudling along and then you've got a, a random segment completely broken up by a, a small vehicle section, you know? And it's a certain level of game design that I I don't believe we have anymore. Like you, you just play some modern games, and it, it just feels like they are so agnostic when it comes to the idea of implementing any other part of the game. And in my opinion, that's a bad thing. It really is. And and I believe, just to use the Final Fantasy analogy once again, Final Fantasy XIV, the online game is a brilliant game and a lot of people have said it's the best Final Fantasy in years. And I believe one of the reasons for that is because that game has so many mini games just built into it. So yeah, that, that, that's that's my take. That's a little bit of game philosophy for you. I believe that unless a game can do one thing brilliantly, sometimes it's good to do a lot of small things well. That's uh, that's mess messing around with Deshin. 
tune in, tune in next week for, for more nonsense. Easy there, Bun Bun. I might, I might need you in a minute. Okay. Five more to go. Let's see where they're hiding. Damn, they could, they could fire at me from anywhere. Nope, okay. And... Yeah, true of, of Spyro. As time went on, they started introducing more mini-games. Um, there's one, but oh, there it is, there it is. Uh, Spyro 2 and 3, just mini-games galore, even incorporated into the main game. Like, not, not even side bits, you know, like you had to do all the little puzzles to get to get the eggs. Absolute brilliant game design. Ooh, come to think of it, Crash Bandicoot kind of did the same thing, didn't it? Did I just destroy three in one go? Huh. Uh, yeah, Crash Bandicoot. You had the the running sequences, you know, with the uh, with the boar and the polar bear, and then the tiger, and then you had the running away sequences, and arguably mixing it up from a 3D platformer to the 2D side-scrolling platformer segments. Hmm. I guess that's why I, that's why I really love that game. Huh. The, the more I think about this random nonsense, the more the more cred credibility well, I have. Private. You're a clever dragon, ain't you? Smart enough to get the gates open and skillful enough to survive the tanks. Okay, the dojo mascot. Really, you, you stole the dragonfly. Hey, it's Cub. Welcome aboard, Cubby. If you No, no more dummies. No, 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 no. Maybe later. The game feels like it drags. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, right? I apologize in advance. I've just realized this pun. This game does drag on a bit. Utter crap. <laughs> this game this game does drag on a little bit. And let me guess, Wet Wookie is or, is already typing groan. He's already typing it. Um I, it's so it's so hard to put into it. Oh dear, says Daniel. <laughs> I don't know. It feels once again. I'm com I might just be comparing it to the remaster or the remake or whatever, whatever the hell you want to call it. So I I don't I, I I can't give it a sin for that because I could be completely mistaken here. But it, it, it does look sluggish, doesn't it? It does look a little bit sluggish, even the movements. Hmm. Could just be me, could just be me. Ooh, Nelly. Oh, I, di I didn't see you there. Haha, you're cornered now. Oh, no, he's not cornered. Where is he? Where's he go? Where's he go? Oh, there he is. Cloudy. With a chance of meatballs. Hmm, it just occurred to me. I, I keep trying to jump and bubble them. I, I don't think I do. I, I think I can just bubble them on the ground. I'm making it needlessly more complicated for myself. Well, if if making it more neat. Uh, so, so, let's try again. Needlessly overcomplicating things for myself would honestly be the title of my autobiography. So, do this. Oh yeah, some game uh, game trivia. This game, right, was not made by any of the original Spyro cast cast developers develop developer cast. And in many ways, it shows like they it, it's, it's got the same problem that the Crash Bandicoot game had, where you have it was well more of the same. Chow, oh, Chow Young Fat. took much courage. I think this baby dragonfly will be safe with you. Thank you. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Is it an another pun? Roxy. Hey, it's Roxy. Okay. Listen to your heart. No wait, that was Roxanne. Never Remember Sp Find and return the remaining baby dragonflies. They are the fortune of the dragon realm. Thank you. A fortune cookie son. Right, how do I get out of here then? Oh, there we go. 
I probably can get there better from up here, can't I? You get out of it. I haven't taken a hit yet either. Hmm. Okay, that's the exit. So what's what's down here? There's, there's got to be there's got to be a hidden something down here. Or it's gonna take me right back to the start of the level. Oh look, it took me right back to the start of the level. <laughs> okay. Huh, what was that? Bit of a weird camera. That's all right. <laughs> and this game, it, it, it lacks polish, but so far it's not terrible. It's not a terrible game. Oh, I'm down, okay. Uh, according to my um, viewer tracker, I'm down to one viewer. Wow, that was that joke really that bad? <laughs> Oh well, no worries. No worries. Um, I, I, as I said, it feels like more of the same, and that is not necessarily a bad thing because I like Crash. I like Spyro. Bringing along more Crash and more Spyro. Even if it doesn't feel like a sequel, Spyro, the magic of this sacred room will right, grant the power you the of power. electric breath. And now I zap you. I zap you with my tongue. Oh dear lord, look at that. That actually looks. That is terrifying. Look, look at me, I'm a Sith Lord. Mwahaha. Yes, good, good. Feel the power of the dark side, young sheep. Strike me down. <laughs> oh, there we go. Got the blue one. I mean, it's horrible that we are now canonically straight up murdering the sheep, though, because in, in the past games you would flame them and their their, their wool would fall off and it, it would be funny. And then they'd vanish. This one, no, no, I'm, I'm actually turning them into a lamb brisket. There is no coming back from that. There is no coming back from that. I'm I'm canonically now a a a crazy person. Right. Do 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 do. Lou lou lou. Cap Hmm. Uh, I'm the ca I'm really struggling with this camera. I have to say. Huh. That's a tone shift. <laughs> Sometimes you get a better view this way. Oh, right. Really? Oh my days, are you kidding me? So, look, look, you have to, you have to see this shit, right? They're holding this button, going left, look left, right, look right, okay, left, wrong button, left, right, look left, so, so the look, the looking around, is as it should be, but normal gameplay is inverted. Did, how is that not an oversight? At any stretch. There you little bubbly. Get, there we go. Gotcha. Hey, it's Kanichi. Kanichi, what? Kanichi, what? Oh god, that's that sound effect from the from from Digimon World. That Tim Allen home improvement <laughs> every every time. What was it? Hagurumon was was doing something or Gardramon? I don't know. I don't know which one was doing. What was making the funny noises? Who's that then? <laughs> Climbing is the best way to get yourself up to those out of reach places. Ladder, jump, left analog stick. Yadi yadi yadi. Yadi yadi yadi. Too long, didn't read. Hello, hello, friend. Um. Wow, that's a lot of dragonflies, Spyro. You should have no problem getting this here UFO to work now. Yeehaw! Beware the space. Space cows again. Up to two sins now. Then, I mean, two sins, but one was a redeeming factor because I believe they tried, and effort is worth a lot. I've said multiple times. I've said multiple times. 
you can tell when somebody doesn't care. Oh, he's riding, oh, he's riding in the UFO, but Spyro, there's no atmosphere, you're gonna suffocate. Is that the Earth? Spyro, how are you breathing? Eight viewers, including myself, really? Huh, my thing just says one. Okay, uh, hello to the eight viewers, tuning in, wow, that's actually way more than I'm used to. Um, if, if you're a first time viewer, do you love Spyro the Dragon? Let me know in the comments. And, what did you think of this game? For me, this is my first time playing it. I'm, I'm actually having fun. It's not a bad game. Farmer Dill. Space Riptops. Okay. Since they haven't been able to they were finally been abducting cows. What? Oh, again with the cows! Don't. I'll help you. Golly thanks, Spyro! Mm -hmm. You need to go around back to one of the big red barn. Risk of them cows. Sure thing. Sure thing, Farmer Dill. Is there something hidden back? No, okay. I thought there was going to be like something hidden right at the start. Seriously, one one game did that. One game did that. I don't know if it was one of the crash. Oh dear lord, they're just beaming in, aren't they? One of the um. Oh dear lord, they're they're going crazy. They're going ham. They're going ham, and they're not even they're not even pigs. They're cows. One of the Crash Bandicoot games had that. One level. There was a, uh, a a box, and you had to walk towards the camera to get the box. And ever since then, um, I, I I check every single Spyro game, Crash game, platformer, and it's never happened apart from that one game. So, mm -mm. It, it basically Stockholm syndrome me into always checking. So well well done, random Crash game. I can't remember right now. You you, you did that to me. <laughs> uh, oh, I see someone. I see someone who is in need of a bubble. There we go. Hey, it's Akira. Akira. Oh, who's seen who's seen the movie Akira? It's a it's an old gem. A right royal gem of a movie. Who's seen Akira? Well, I know you have, Daniel. We watched it together. Come on. Oh, the good old days. Remember when uh the, the only way we could get anime was uh, was, was by finding it online <coughs> in, in certain places. Because <coughs> anime just wasn't a thing here. And if you had people uh, people going to Italy or going to the UK on holiday, and we'd, and we'd, just, that, that we'd have to give them a, a wish list as, as long as our arms of anime to pick up. Like, hey, pick up you know, the, this Dragon Ball video. Oh, dear lord. He, j he just zapped me right in the chin. This calls for some yummy chicken. Oh, he he turned he turned into a chicken roast as well. That is so sad. The trend of Spyro running around. Seriously, Spyro kills more tiny critters than a combine harvester. Hey, these are dinosaurs. What what what, what the hell? Why are they dinosaurs? Not that I'm complaining, I love dinosaurs and I love space stuff, so, you know. Dinosaurs in space! It's totally a, a, an aesthetic that I can dig. Hello, Monchili. Hmm. Oh, I see him. No, don't interrupt me! Joel? Oh, Dean. You're Spyro, ain't you? Glad to meet you. Have you seen any of my cows? No. Am I am I going am I killing the cows? No. He said that they were rhinox, surely. Ah. Give me you. There we go. Yeah, I can do. What the hell? Hey, it's Mitnick. Mitnick. What the name is Mitnick? Huh. Uh, apologies to any Mitnicks currently watching. I've never heard your name before. It it, it was a surprise. Now that looks like. Hey, I was right. Oh, hello. What do I uh? What do I do with this? Is, it, is that two planets? Yeah, there's two planets. Neat. Seriously, what do I do? Oh, okay. There's there's where I'm going. 
Okay, hidden gem area, I guess. No, no, I had to come here so I can traverse the chasm. Chasm? Chasm? See chasm? <laughs> With what you smell, please feel free to correct my English. And I didn't jump. Womp womp. And that was more my own fault, really. Hmm. Ooh! Jacques! Oh, I've got the wrong breath! There we go. Once again, my fault. Sadino! Okay. Any, any more Dinos out of nowhere? Any more? <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've got, got a bit of a cough I have. Okay, that tree sounds ominous. Huh. Nope, oh, nothing ominous after all. It's just a, just a fancy tree. Oh, there we go. Hmm. I do dislike the way Spyro comes to an abrupt halt. Oh. Okay. I I need I need chickens and I need them now. Nope. 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 No. I need chickens. I need chickens. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. And don't count your eggs before they're snatched. I'm gonna have to backtrack to find chickens, aren't I? Dag nabbit! Dag nabbit spiral! What's the matter with y'all? Oh, I haven't even got—I haven't even got sparks to, to pick up the items for me. Yep, going all the way back to the beginning. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Bugger! Nicely. Build it, and they will come. God, I am just laying down all the old movie references, aren't I? My my only uh, what, concern is not a concern at all. I, I just believe that a lot of these references are going uh, going over people's heads. That's, that's not a bad thing. I'm gonna have to zap the, zap the, uh, the nodule once more. Get over here, you. So, uh, we're all ready. It's that, it's that time again, folks. We're all ready at our first retro first hour. Uh, overtime mode? I think overtime mode. You know what? I'm having fun. I'm having fun. And ultimately, that's what this is all about, isn't it? Um, I believe now. I I may be making a mistake here, right? But I believe it was Shigeru Miyamoto, rest in peace, from Nintendo, who said um, games just have to be fun, and that was his driving. Uh, driving force at Nintendo. Game, games had to be fun. That, that was that was the objective. And that is a philosophy that I, I adhere to. Oh dear lord! Oh dear lord! Oh! I've, I've lost everything! I've lost all my chickens! Oh wow! This is, this is terrible! I'm, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die horribly! Oh, there they are! Oh my god, they were here the whole time! I love chickens, Eddie! And that's a philosophy. I mean, arguably not every game has to be fun, necessarily speaking, but it has to be entertaining. At least, maybe that's something that lost in translation. Like I've I've played plenty of games that aren't I, I wouldn't call traditionally fun games, but they've made me think. You know, like um. Oof. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to think of a good example, and I'm I'm, I'm coming up blank. Uh, okay, 
the last one? No, no, not, not the last one. It's Heavy Rain, Heavy Rain. I wouldn't have called it a fun game, but it sure as hell was an entertaining game. It was a bit of existential dread, if you ask me. Hmm, this is the right way, isn't it? Right. Where, where are them space cows at? That's a space dino. Why am, okay, why do I stop when I could probably just charge into them and get the exact same, the exact same effect? Let's try it, let's try it. Can I charge into them? Come on, show me your space dinos. Give me your dinos. There we go. Cow, dino, same thing. Oh wow, that's hilarious. That is such a hilarious dying sound effect. Yeah. Wait. Oh, okay, that's me doing that. Oh, you know what? I didn't even realize I'd activated a, a power up. I didn't even realize. Wait. Can, can I run through this again and get it topped up? No, I can't. Okay. Kaboom! Okay, I, I do love the, I do love the pyrotechnics, I have to say. So I'm I'm nowhere near qualified to give um an accurate review of the game, right? But so far it, it's not that bad. I, I don't I don't know why why people said this was like the worst Spyro game. Mm hmm, it's perfectly serviceable. Ah yeah, well. I'm sure it's a bit rough around the edges, but that just makes it... Oh, there's the cows! There are the cows! Hey, Spiral! Farmer Bill! The doors are jammed. I'll set some explosives that don't have any... <laughs> my mama always told me I should never play with matches. Sure. Here's a light for you. Burp. Oh, whoops, sorry cow. There we go. Well, don't just stand there, Spyro. Did the doors blow inwards? Okay. <laughs> they just blew inwards, that's that funny. There you go, Farm Bill, if you can still hear me. What you got to say? Oh dear lord, those faces, that is nightmare fuel. Anything. Here, take this thingamajig! Yes, thingamajig is one of my favorite words. <laughs> hey, it's Fiona. Fiona. Okay. So yeah, we're already going into half hour overtime mode, just FYI. So uh, if, if you thought the pain was over... <laughs> Of, of watching my mug, then, uh... Nope! We're doing a bit more. Yo, I'm hungry, I just I just realised I haven't eaten today. Huh. Okay. No worries. I'm gonna check my phone while this loading screen is fapping about. There we go. Oh yeah, I can speed it up, can't I? Whoops. Okay, so, that is that. What more shenanigan... Game with interruptions. <laughs> Challenge portal, each one of Dragonfly, yeah, 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 we've already established that. Lightning Breath Challenge. Eight targets will appear in the area, find them and zap them all. Eh, uh, yeah, whatever. Not to mention, the text was recycled there. Mm. Oh, oh, guys, guys, warning, uh, epilepsy warning. I think I see what they mean now. Look, look at the ambient occulting lighting. Re seriously, epilepsy warning, do, do not watch this. Look, you see the way the screen's flickering? I believe that's what they were on about. Whenever there's a light source nearby. Hell, I, I'm getting, I'm getting nauseous looking at it. Oh, wow. If that's what that is, if, ooh, mm -hmm. 
People should have uh, really considered that. Who are you then? Is he wearing Hello, gator skin Spyro. boots? Jimmy Bob! More of those damn air bugs, and I should have this honeycomb raft working like a charm. Like a charm. 45 dragonflies? Dear lord, how many do I have? 12. Well, I ain't coming back here anytime soon. Yeah, let's save the game. Oh, oh wow, that was a quick save. And I can't move Spyro. I, 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 I can't move Spyro. Um... I, I seriously, I, I can't move him. Oh. What the... What the hell? Hello, Spyro. <laughs> what? Oh dear lord. That was weird. Okay. I, I thought my game bricked there for a second. Or I thought my controller disconnected. Huh. Alright. You <laughs> too. I need more levels. That looks like a level. Now, oh, for crying out loud, will you stop interrupting me, Spot? Ready for a dip? Oh, okay, I can swim. I can swim, all right. Yee, blah, 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 blah. Um, this... Swimming physics seem all right. He's he's definitely faster underwater than he was in previous games. Once again, that just might be my uh, ha! Oh my god! Look at this! <laughs> uh, it looks like he's just taking a crap and he's just sc scooching the floor. Look at that! Oh my god, that's hilarious! Okay, hold on, let me just capture this guy. Hey, it's Amy. That's not how you spell Amy. I, I have to try that again, hold on. I have to I have to try that again. Okay, okay, this time he's fine. So, what, what was that all about then? What was that all about? What was that all about? No, seems like he's doing it fine now, huh? One, one more attempt, one more attempt. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I filmed that. That, that that's, go, that's going in the blooper reel. That's going in the blooper reel. Huh, seems fine. Okay, look at that. Ha hazy. I see what they're trying to do with the fire effects. I mean, pixelation makes it not work as well, but yeah. Fair enough. Drink. Hello. Boy, am I glad to Pig see Porkins. you. Porkins, <laughs> huh? to get this boat to work if you had enough dragonflies. Wait. But there's savages on that island. Savages, I tell you. Okay. Fifteen dragonflies needed. Oh, crying out loud. I have, what was it? Thirteen. Thirteen dragonflies. So I have a feeling. I have a feeling this is my next port of call. And I've just missed... Missed picking them up, haven't I? To the Atlas! Uh-huh. Dragon Realms, Dragonfly Dojo... Okay. Luau Island. Dragon Hunter's Lesson... Oh dear lord, there's a, there's a lot... There's a lot to find here. Huh. Wow, I missed... I missed plenty. I have missed plenty, okay. Let's, let's, let's see if I can find any here. I really hate that I have to backtrack. I really don't like backtracking, especially on the stream, because you, you, you guys want to see the same stuff over again, but I might have to. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, challenges then. Let, let's, let's do a challenges. That, that should get me the two that I need without backtracking. Let's do this. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Oh, there's one. No, it's a, it's a shock. Shock therapy. There we go. Let's do the time once again. 
Any up here? Nope. Oh, there's one. Okay, four more to go, four more to go. I'm probably not going to make this one. That's fine, it, it was a learning experience. Oh, bugger, there's one down here. Oh no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not going to make this one, I'm not going to make this one. Uh, let me at least get close enough to see where they are. All the way over there. And there. Okay. Okay, I can do this now. I can do this. Gotta time my jumps. Right, so. Start, go straight into there. Circle round, drift down. Pop round mums, kill Philip. The Winchester, a nice cold pint with this whole thing to blow over. I love that movie. I haven't, I haven't seen Shaun of the Dead for a while now. Definitely, definitely is due a rewatch. Okay, four more to go. Four more to go. One down here. Double back. Oh, come on! Come on, man! Put your back into it, Spyro. We got things to hit. Come on, come on, come on. Underlay, underlay. Woo! Got them all. That was great. No, oh, thank you. At least a dragonfly. Zippy. Zappy. I would have thought it would have been a lightning pun. God, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get that glitch to happen again where he's just uh, dra dragging his butt along the ground, am I? That's a shame. That was hilarious. That was that was grade A gold. Oh well. No worries. No worries. Let's, let's unlock the other dragonfly and move on to a luau. It's this way, wasn't it? Yeah, there it is. Ah, okay, I have to do the, uh... Or not. <laughs> I was going to say I have to do the shimmy, sh shimmy shammery to get myself up there. Okay. Let's do this, let's do this. Are you ready? Are you ready, Freddy? Let's do it! Boom! Did it... Hmm. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try again. Yeah, this needs a bit of spit and polish, that's for sure. Wait. What if I go around this from the other direction? Aha. Okay, there we go, there we go. So I can get this one that was out of the way. one here? Nope. Okay, okay. No waste of time, no waste of time. Two down, two down, two down. There was one here, there was one here. Yep, three down. Four up here. Nope. Ah, oh, no, I've, I've, I've muffed it, I've muffed it. Four. Five. Ah, oh, seven, eight. Oh, there it was. There it was. It was right there underneath me. Okay, I know what to do now. I know what to do now. The time for games is over. Starting now. <laughs> the time. The time for games is over, my man. Get, camera, help me out. There we go. We are now going to. Uh, we're, we're now going to ace it. We're now going to ace it. You watch. Or, or, or my name isn't Spyro B Dragon. Yeah, Spyro B Dragon this whole video down. Oh, 
Whoa, Nelly, what the hell happened there? I clipped the wall. Nope, 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 nope. I made that mistake last time. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Okay. There's nothing up top for me. Okay, I do believe I got this. I do believe I got this. Come on, man. There we go. Haha. <laughs> that was great. I complete challenge and release the dragonfly. Thank you, recycled text. Hey, it's Jeet. Jeet. Like Derek Jeter from the Yankee, uh, from the Boston Red Sox. Hmm. Or is it Jeet Kune Do, another pun on uh, the, the whole martial arts thing? Oh, I just realised, it's actually rather funny, I, I made the joke about the 80s um, kung fu movies having bad lip syncing. And then the first level of the game is a dojo with bad kung fu lip syncing. I swear to god, I didn't know that. Come on, Porkins, what you got for me? Ah, there we go. Yay! You got enough dragonflies to get the boat up and running. Hop aboard. Don't mind if I do. Now, there's probably some meta narrative of he's he's a tourist and the pig. I'm not sure. It might be a probably more because he's going to a luau and you know they've got the pigs on the spits. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm trying to get what the developers meant by that pun. Yeah. I'm on a boat. Speaking of boat and water, stay hydrated everyone. Water is good for you. Seriously, so many problems can be fixed by drinking more water. Ah, love the stuff. No lie, I've probably drunk more pure water in the last two years than I have in my previous 33 combined. I uh, had to grow up at some point and pull away the iced tea. Oh, was I, was I not supposed to do that? Okay, I'm supposed to do that. It's a little bit of a tiki in me. Hey, it's these guys from Spyro 2. I believe it was Spyro 2. Aww, he, he didn't seem all that bad. <laughs> oh, come on, that's bamboo. I could have easily burned that down. Ugh. Nonsense, but... Oh, I, I dig the music. Not as good as previous games, but... Hey, come back here, you. Not as good as previous games' music, but I dig it. I dig it. Oh wow, this one is really giving me a run for my money, isn't he? Gary! Hey, it's Gary! Hello, Gary! How oh, bloody hell are ya? I haven't seen my mate Gary for a long time. I hope he's doing alright. Oh, Hawkins. What's up? Thank you so much, Spyro. I just couldn't have handled being eaten for dinner. <laughs> nope. I'll keep a nose out for your friends. I think I smell them roasting off in the distance. Oh, oh, that is a bad joke. Spyro has gone full on insane. Look, look, look at this guy. He's just cooking, cooking the seagulls at this point. Spy Spyro's turned stone cold gangster. Once again, I don't hate this game. It's no Reignited Trilogy, but... I think I might actually keep playing this one too. But where was Porkins? Right, it was over here. That voice... Wait, did you guys hear that? That aha! Uh -huh. 
What was that? That what was that? Hold on. Huh. Sorry, that that gave me a flashback to a cartoon with a a professor of sorts. Huh. Weird. That was a weird death animation. Oh, come on, there's, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to knock this down. It's bamboo for crying out loud. Oh, well. Damn it, Sparks, I'm trying, I'm trying to be a dragon here. He's being a massive dragon. Imagine dragons. Yeah, imagine dragon these nuts. Ah, uh, it's a shame that my buddy isn't here. Vloggy buddy. Get me out of here. Hamlet. Get me out of here. <laughs> Sausages. Ah, sure. oh, I'm so hungry. A button on the cliff. Oh, easy. And I see that guy flying up ahead. Underwater cave. Okay. That was my next portal call. Yoink. Oh, look, I'm just... Uh, at this point, I'm the villain. Look, I'm just interrupting them, having a nice time on holiday. This is a holiday destination, isn't it? I come going spearfishing. Oh, look, there's a madman ch charging me. He's trying to kill me. I, I, I feel like that scene in, in Men in Black, remember? When they're, they're, they're at the shooting range? And uh, and Kay is harassing Will Smith's character like, oh, why why do you feel little Susie had to die? Like, mm, you know, everyone else just just living their life, you know. Go over here, he ain't snarling, he's sneezing. And this guy over here, you know, until so he's he's just he's just lifting weights. How like if someone came in a gym, busted my ass from on the treadmill. I need to watch that movie again. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I've. Hmm. Uh -huh. there, there's the aha again. Spyro, Hammy. I heard you on the island, but I didn't believe it. You gotta help me. One of the Riptox keeps calling me Ham Sandwich and asking me if I'd go better with mustard or mayonnaise. Ham <laughs> Sandwich. Uh, go better with mustard or mayonnaise. It's always mustard, by the way. Ham, mustard. Hmm. Ooh, how, how do I, how do I get this? Well, that wasn't it, wherever the hell that was. Hmm. Ah, that's what I need to do. Oh, dear lord. What happened to Spyro? His body contorted horribly. Spyro, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that, that looks so painful. His spine... Just got obliterated. Come here, Hammy. Woo! Thank goodness you got to me before the Riptox could. Well, the Riptox got to you first, that's why you're in a cage. Ah, well, that's. Thank you for the save. That's Hamlet rescued. Actually, a little bit of a funny story there, right? So when I was a, when I was a, when I was a wee lad, I'm, I'm talking small, like you know, five. Um, I, I've got three older siblings, right? And of course, what 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 four-year-old, five-year-old doesn't doesn't love Winnie the Pooh, right? They actually put me off having ham, and pork and sausages. Because they kept telling me I was eating me? piglet. I swear I could hear the sausage grinder calling my name. So, no. Yeah, that that was that was a dick move. And my siblings were all way older than me as well. They they, they were all teenagers when I was like one year old. So, yeah. So whenever whenever my mom would uh, would, would do the cooking, she'd have to say I was eating chicken instead. 
So my favourite food for the longest time I thought was Chinese chicken, but it was actually sweet and sour pork. Just a little fun story from my childhood. I believe I only ever found out that it wasn't chicken, it was pork when I was like 10 or something. I didn't question it, you know, it was battered. I know what was in there. Damn, I, I was raised by, I was raised surrounding a, surrounded by a bunch of sociopaths, wasn't I? Imagine doing that to a small child, telling them I'm out, t telling them you're eating piglet. Good God. Okay, we're approaching the end of an, of the half hour overtime. Is anyone still watching? Do I do uh, do I clock in another half hour or do we do we call the uh, the retro first hour to a close, which is nowhere near an hour at this point. It still says I only have one viewer, so okay. If that one viewer would like me to continue, I shall continue. Oh, it's doing it again. Look, it's doing it again. What, what the hell? Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can trigger that again. Nope. Seems a little hunky dory now. Weird. <laughs> that slapstick sound effect. Okay, I, I should not have... Oh, dear lord. He came out of nowhere. Come here, seagull. Note to anyone watching, do not actually eat seagull. They have so much horrible stuff going on in their stomachs. Uh, parasites and whatnot because of all the because of all the stuff. They just, they just eat garbage. Mm -hmm. I do believe if you're, st if you're starving, you know, as, as long as... I'm a proponent of you can eat anything as, as long as you cook it properly, but don't, don't, don't risk. It is that aha. Uh -huh. huh. There we go. <laughs> okay, the, the magical vanishing bamboo. Get me out of here. <laughs> Chili. Hello, the gate's open. Hmm. <laughs> it is? Oh, well. <laughs> Chili ham. <laughs> hey, it's Dill. Dill, just like the farmer. It's a cutesy game. So, about clocking in that overtime. I'm gonna need an answer before I before I head off into a. Really? Oh, look at, I I feel so bad for these dinosaurs. They they're literally doing nothing. Ooh, bonus area. Anyone watching me has until I finish this bonus area to tell me if I do an overtime. Yum yum. Okay, what game is this going to be then? I see drums, I see a tiki band. Hold the Hello, real tired and get ready Oonga. for We tiki getting ready for big tiki tours luau. Oonga. We teach tourists how to play drums, tiki di tiki style. Tiki tiki unga boom. <laughs> tiki tiki lolo. <laughs> what the, what the hell? Hey, okay, drums for tourists get here. I'm gonna go play. Sure, I'll play the drums. Oonga. Okay. We tiki will play in this part. Play it back. Take turns. Don't worry. Start small, one at a time. Okay. Is there, yeah, she's a rhythm game. Huh. Neat. Ready? Here goes. Okay, so far so good. Okay, this is just a memory game. But I, I like this, this is fun, this is fun. Mm -hmm. 
That was easy. Okay. Spiral best drama. Unka bunka hula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Offensive stereotypes aside. Hey, it's Terrell. Terrell? Sounds like a name from Star Trek. Um I have a feeling, I have a feeling that I can gain another one. It's gonna get harder. Let me try it. Ready? It's gonna be the same thing all over again. Oh. Okay, it does change. Oh. Oh. Easy peasy. Okay, so last time it was six. Let's see if it's gonna be six again. Oh wow, it's more than six, okay. Seven. Oh, it's actually okay. It's actually starting to get a little bit difficult now. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna mess it up. Yay! I was ten that time, I believe. Do I do I get another dragonfly? <laughs> Spyro. That's wow! We think he knew you were a big dumbing champion. Please take this for reward. Yeah, it was another one, huh? So it's probably that tank one. Maverick. Hey, it's Maverick. Where's Goose? No more dragonflies. Nah, then we good. I can drum any time. Yes, well. I'll be sure to drum up interest. No treasure? I found two dragonflies. Don't you lie to me. That's the best treasure of all. The friends we made along the way. Okay, you know what I I do think I'm gonna call today's video to a close. Let me just uh, get back to the main area. I'll check out what this new breast does as well. Hello. Bye. There we go. And crash into a wall, I guess. So there are. Okay, what the previous Spyro games did that I did like, when you start and finish a level, they had a little cutscene would play. I do miss that because it was cutesy, you know, just for that reason. It was cutesy. I liked it. Now I feel like it's lacking, perhaps? Hmm. In this. I'm not saying they didn't try, but the game the game definitely lacks uh, it lacks that je ne sais quoi. That je ne sais quoi that was present in Spyro 3. And much in the same way I believe that Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex. Wait. Wrath of Cortex? No. No, Wrath of Cortex was the second one. What, what am I on about? No, Cortex Strikes Back was the second one. Never mind. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, right. Uh, Wrath of Cortex. 
it was a serviceable game, but it lacked the je ne sais quoi that made Crash 2 and Crash 3 as good as they were. Um, can I say exactly what it was? No. Far, far more intelligent people than I Hello, shall do that. Wing shield! What's a wing shield worth? Hmm. Do I do I not activate it normally? I'm pressing all the buttons, but nothing's happening. Hmm. So that looks like it doesn't do a damn thing. Yeah, look at that face. Looks like he plays the uh, plays the trumpet. Anyway, you know what? I'm going to call today's video to to a to a conclusion. I, I do believe uh, I do believe my mates, the Brit Pack, may have gone to bed already. Fair enough. It's a work day tomorrow, lads. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going to call it here. This was fun. So um, talking about again with the green screen. Damn it! Always something. It's always something. Um, I didn't hate it. I mean, I. I have never played this game, as I said, and I, I had figured that going into it, um, I was kind of bracing myself to get ready to really go off on this game. But I, I can't hate it. It's it's still cutesy. It's still Spyro and Sparks and Hunter and Bianca and all the friends that we've made along the way. Mm, it... Okay, if I, if, I had to, if I had to say what it's missing... It feels like a step backwards, right? It feels like a step backwards. And I can see why, at the time, if you're a hardcore fan of Spyro, especially seeing as this came out the year after Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex, if, if you were a fan of the platformers from the PlayStation 1 days, and you were disappointed by that, and then you had the chain disappointment with this game, yeah, disappointed. More, more disappointed. It, it, it could have been better, and it deserved to be better. And as far as I know, the PlayStation Two Spyro games were all more or less on this uh, on this path. But around about the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty slash PlayStation Three era, they apparently came back and were very good. So who knows? Maybe I'll play those on this channel at some point. So um. Yes, before I part, some words of wisdom. Dishin's words of wisdom. Um, if if your shoe don't fit, then boy, that ain't your shoe. And the meaning of that is sometimes if you feel like something is not for you, then maybe it's not a question of you have to change yourself to fit it, but find something that you can fit into comfortably. Yeah, it wasn't just nonsense. You, you thought I was just going to leave it at that. Just be some bullshit. No, I'm actually going to come with you with the real fortune cookie philosophy here. Anyways, thanks again for tuning in. Thanks again for the Crash Bandicoot views. And I will see you next week. Oh, took my glasses off. Can't see the outro. There's the outro button. Bye, everyone. Thank you. And stay safe.